Wu Yao is out here enjoying his winter solstice present. And what is your present, Wu Yao? Hmm? Is your present a fence? Why, it sure is. So we have got our new backyard fenced for Wu Yao, who can now run and frolic just like he does when he visits my dad out in the country. Yes. So, are you ready, Wunyo? Let's see how far you can go. Further than I can throw, that's for sure. Come on, Wunyo. Let's see some frolicking. And our fence was finished last night. So he came out last night for a little bit of a run, but this is the first full day. So those of you who <laughs> have known me for a while know that we used to live in the city. And you probably also know how well that life didn't really suit me or where we go. And so this it's very exciting to us both. Our new home in Plain Township and a fence around it, which is perfect for those who like to run. You know anyone like that, Wunyo? <laughs> Do you? Do you know anyone like that? I think you might. Here comes that wound, yo. Come on, wound, yo. <laughs> you ready? Okay, let me switch hands. So here I am standing at the furthest corner of our yard so that you can see how our backyard looks. Now we just moved here around Halloween so we didn't get to do obviously any of our kind of landscaping which is sort of uh, I could say rewilding. So in spring you can definitely expect to see many more plants, of course native plants that encourage wildlife and give them something to eat in all seasons. You can expect to see such plants um, in our yard rather than just a flat expanse of grass. Now you may wonder why is this video all about Wunyo. Our other animals actually don't like to frolic out in the cold, so <laughs> that is why you are only seeing Wunyo. But that's not to say that the others, Buster, as well as the cats, as well as Puka Possum, won't be out here running around at other times because they will surely appreciate it as well. But not as well as our snow dog. So I'm really glad that we got our fence up in time for him to enjoy the winter here just like he would enjoy the winter when we visit my dad's and he get to run free in the country which he loves to do our old house like I said was in the city some of you have been there or seen pictures of it some of you have not but our little fenced yard that we had for the dogs was like a little pen so it really was not much as far as enrichment or exercise and of course we couldn't let the cats out in it at all because it was a wooden fence and they would have just scaled it in five seconds and gone into the street perhaps so not a good option so as you can see the back of our fence here is chain link it's only four feet tall so I think that it will not pose a huge border or barrier to most kinds of wildlife who can uh, fly over it, jump over it in the case of deer, or climb it in the case of um, if, for instance, possums or raccoons uh, would choose to do so. So here's the feeding station that you may have seen 
in videos. It's uh, well, the possums haven't come in a few days because of the cold, so there's kind of a lot of stuff sitting there waiting for them. The deer come every day though, and that's their block and that's their dish of corn. And there is a possum who lives in this very wood pile because I found the tracks. And we have a nice brush pile back here, which already existed, and I added some to it to make it like a good uh, kind of safe zone for wildlife to hang out. I know we have at least one rabbit that has been living in there, so that is good. And so, facing the front, <coughs> front of the house, hang on. I think someone is feeling neglected. Ready? So facing the front of the house and the side where you can see our neighbor's house, which is over here, there is this uh, six foot tall white privacy fence. Now, it may look kind of obtrusive to you. It does to me. It kind of looks like we have a little cult compound, especially when seen from the front. Ah, but it does effectively block any prying eyes that there may be, which I don't suppose there are anyway. And people find it more aesthetically pleasing than chain link fence. So it seemed a good choice. We are gonna definitely plant a lot of things to kind of break up this, this harsh whiteness of the privacy fence. So we definitely wanna put native plants here. I would like to do prairies on both sides. So that would be our tall prairie wildflowers that are great for pollinators and birds love to eat the seeds and so on. So another great wildlife area. And we wanna plant blueberry bushes in the front. So we even have some food value to the front of our yard as well. So I will show you something else over here on this side. So there goes the Wunyo again. Now, these trees here are our four apple trees, which were full of apples this fall. So that's how I came up with our name, Possum Orchards. And you can see that there are still a few rotten little old apples stuck on some of the branches. So we're definitely going to plant more fruit trees. Both Chris and I want to do so. So I think this side over here will be a little orchard. I mean, I know orchard may sound a bit grandiose when you don't have quite an acre of land, but nonetheless, we should have some good trees. Yes, Winyo, are you coming to visit? So the reason I'm over here is to show you guys the corridor on this side. Because I did notice that we had deer in our front yard as well as the orchard area. So this way they have a chance to pass uh, along this line of Norway spruce and they can continue thusly <laughs> if they need to go toward the woodlot because it would be a shame to block wildlife from corridors that they normally use. So here's where the chain link fence meets the privacy fence. Once again, I anticipate that animals will be able to get over the chain link fence easily, except of course, for our own dogs. Wunyo is not really a very uh, jumpy of a dog, and uh, Buster is definitely too small to clear that or to think of clearing it. This is our silver maple, which is a particularly large and beautiful tree, uh, sadly on the other side of the fence because the fence, as you can see, only goes to the back corner of our house. So what is over the fence? Why, <laughs> that is our front yard and I cannot even show you. <clears throat> Sorry, I have a kind of froggy throat this morning and every morning. So here's the side of the house and we don't yet know what all of these shrubs and trees are. We have holly, we have several holly bushes some Japanese maple and some other things that the previous owners planted. They were really into ornamentals, not so much natives, but they did put some native things. And a lot of these large butterfly bushes are here. So we did have, just in the uh, mid fall when we moved in, we did have monarchs and some other kinds of butterflies as well. So we'll definitely be able to expand upon that. But this video is supposed to be about the fence.
So, <laughs> here's the side of the yard. Let's pass our feeding station, which was also the dog tie-out post. Luckily, we won't have to mess with these tie-outs ever again because that was such a pain for us and no doubt not much fun for the dogs. Although Buster hates the winter so much that he probably didn't really care. He would just barely come out long enough to go to the bathroom and then that would be it. So here's our gate. Beyond you can see our driveway. And let's see. We have got a, was this a red maple or a sugar maple? Hmm. I think this one was a sugar maple, I forget. They did put a lot of red maples in the woods, so I'm not totally sure. And I just found out that this shrub over here, our bush, is actually ours because I thought this was the neighbor's yard, but we discovered that it was not. So I don't know what kind of a bush it is, but we'll find out. So here we are up at the top. And once again, I know like, some of you guys live way out in some beautiful natural places, so you might think that, well, all this is not that exciting, but, but it is to me, so. So here's the edge, neighbor's house over there. And here you can see, what was that? Oh my goodness, I know. Sounds like what? A dump truck? What is that? So here is the full extent of the back yard. Again, not quite an acre, not really out in the country, but we still think it is pretty awesome. I mean, we can even camp out here, which will be fun, just, you know, for us and our animals to to hang out, spend some time outside. We can have bonfires, and there'll be a lot of great wildlife areas out here. So, um, not a huge yard, but you can do a lot. You can really do a lot with a yard this size. And it's of course like, <laughs> I don't know, a tenfold increase, if not more, over our previous yard. So, major excitement. This, uh, from some scraps I found lying around, tried to make another wood wood pile type of uh, little brush area for opossums and other wildlife to live in, but it hasn't seen a lot of visitation yet. It may see more now that we've got the fence here, because it used to be Wuno's tie out would let him reach over there. So obviously <laughs> that would be a major deterrent to any wildlife that wanted to move in. So let's see, I guess that's about it. I should probably stop uh, babbling, yes? So Wuno? Seven years old, you finally have a big backyard of your own, yeah? It's like a dog park of our very own. It's pretty awesome, right? You excited? Wunyo, this is your gift. So that means no toys this year, no. But this is a good gift, yeah. It's also a gift for Buster. He'll be very excited later in the year when it's not so snowy. Right, Wunyo? That's right, okay. So. That's it. <laughs> I won't keep you for another 15 minutes. Nope. So here's our new fence in our new backyard. Thanks for watching.